This is Coach Woods talking about Ashton Adams from South Salem High School, played for Coach Scott Defoe. I'm really excited about Ashton. He is a, a throwback player, grinder, physical guy, big body that I think is going to really impose his will on the defensive lines that we play against. He was a top 10 recruit out of the state of Oregon, was a two-sport athlete, also wrestled, and we're excited about Ashton. Can't wait to get him here. Frank Miley here, introducing Aaron Bridsgard, defensive lineman out of Umont High School, Bountiful, Utah. His head football coach is Scott Diddy. Aaron is a long, explosive athlete, very physical, great pass rushing abilities, plays with a great motor. Extremely excited for Aaron to get here this summer and get to work. This is Coach Collins. Pierce Callister. Pierce is a kicker punter combo from Weber High School out in Ogden, Utah. And just a local guy right down the road. We had a chance to have Pierce out to our summer camp. And he is going to do a great job of, of continuing our tradition of great kickers and punters on campus right here. He's a big time academic student who's going to do a great job both on and off the field. And we're excited to have Pierce here and certainly excited to have a, a Utah product to continue our, our special teams tradition. This is Coach Mike Sanford, here to talk about Josh Calvin, early signee quarterback from Mayfair High School. His coach was Derek Bedell. He's six foot four, 200 pounds, looking exact prototypical type player. Um, he, through his junior and senior year, he threw for 4,000 plus yards at four, 44 touchdowns. Uh, he's a tre tremendous basketball player and, uh, and a great student of the game, student in the classroom. This is Coach Jason Phillips. Uh, we're talking about player Johnny Carter from North Shore High School in Houston. The head coach there is John Kay. AJ, as he's called, plays the position of receiver. The things that attracted us to him, most of all, is the kid is very physical. Uh, he also caught the game winning catch in the state championship game against Duncanville High School. Uh, he loves the outdoors, fishing, hunting, loves rodeo, and also country music. Some of the attributes that attracted us as well was his great hands, he's a very competitive kid, wants to win. He also runs track, the 200 meters and the 4x200 meters. Hey guys, this is Coach Woods. I'm talking about Eric Davison. We're super fired up to get Eric here. He's a mid-year enrollee. Uh, he's from Tri-Cities, Washington. Played at Richland High for Coach Mike Needled. Uh, great bender. The thing we like about Eric the most is just his tenacity, the way he plays the game. Uh, we're excited to already have him on campus. He'll be with us in spring ball and he's going to be a great addition to the Aggies. This is Coach Collins, Jack Drews, tied in Ramona High School down in the San Diego area. His head coach is Damon Baldwin. Mr. Drews got a, a long history of football. Both his dad and his brother played at Utah, so he finally made a great decision to come up north here to Logan. Very, very versatile player. Play, also played middle linebacker in high school. Very excited what Jack can do for us, both on and off the field. He is going to be an electric tight end, physical player at the point of attack, and will also help us in special teams. This is Coach Collins. Kanan Eaton, outside wide receiver from Columbia River High School in Vancouver, Washington. Kanan's head coach is Christian Swain. Kanan's a big time outside receiver threat, uh, has the size that we're looking for, uh, somewhere in that, that Tarver and Jalen Green. We're excited about his dynamic ability and, and what he can do as a playmaker coming here to Utah State. This is Coach Mike Caputo talking about Tobias Cash Gilliam from Arizona Western Junior College, coached by head coach Tom Minnick. We see him as a strong safety with 46 tackles and two interceptions at his time at Arizona Western. We like him because he can come down tackle, he's not afraid to hit, he's a big, big strong willingness to play special teams. He has some range and ability, but mainly we see him as a drop down safety to come down and just fill the box, fill in on run, we see him as a bigger guy, that's why we're keeping him as strong safety. This is Coach Orfe, and now we have Keith Harris. Keith Harris is from Losinger High School. We play for Coach Lawrence. Keith is going to play cornerback for us. Thing about Keith is he has a huge upside. Keith is a very physical guy who we think can cover inside and out. He specializes in playing press man, and I think that's going to be huge, especially coming in and having a chance to play right away. Keith's senior year, he had 26 tackles, two interceptions, and one forced fumble. Excited about Keith and looking forward for him to come in and have a great summer and fall camp. 
This is Coach Woods again. Hunter Hill, Orem High School. Plays for his dad, Jeremy Hill, who's a former Aggie. Great length, natural pass protector. Uh, really excited about getting Hunter here. He's a winner, uh, multiple state championships. Uh, hopefully he can bring that attitude and, and that pedigree to, uh, to the Aggies and we are very excited to get Hunter here. Can't wait. This is Coach Mike Caputo talking about Oakley Hussey, an athlete, wide receiver, DB, running back from Hillcrest High School in Idaho Falls under Coach Kevin Meyer. He was Southeast Idaho Player of the Year. His senior season, he racked up over 1,400 yards, 15 touchdowns on 163 carries, 33 receptions for 379 total yards and seven touchdowns. He's a dynamic athlete with his ability to play multiple positions. We'll bring him in as an athlete. we are ready to play wide receiver and DB. This is Coach Jason Phillips again. We're talking about Cam Lampkin from Mesquite Potique High School. Head coach Cody Groves. Cam also is a uh, being recruited or signed with us in December as a receiver. Uh, speed and quickness. I mean, that's that's the thing that really attracts you to Cam. I think that we loved about him. Uh, he also has great hands. He's also very competitive. He also competes in track in the 100 and 300 meter hurdles, which speaks to the level of his toughness because those are tough races. We're excited to have Cam, and we look forward to getting him in the fold here in our program really, really soon. This is Coach Mike Sanford. Garrett Larson, quarterback from Davis High School. Head coach Mitch Arquette finished the season 7-4. and four. Garrett's a 6'4", 185-pound quarterback. Prototypical size, prototypical arm talent. In his senior year, he threw for 1,877 yards and 15 touchdowns. Really look forward to working with Garrett, uh, developing him. Most likely he's going to go on a mission after the first year, and so looking for great things out of Garrett for uh, years to come. This is Coach Collins. Christian Laval will join us from Mission Viejo High School. He was actually a 2017 grad playing for Coach Bob Johnson down there in his last season before Coach Johnson retired. Christian has a gazillion tackles out of Mission Viejo, extremely highly rated linebacker coming out, intelligent young man with great football skills. And the other intriguing thing about Christian, uh, he won the CIF discus title in 2017, throwing at 182.7 feet. So, Big time deal to get Christian here on campus. Uh, he's joined us mid-year and we're excited to have him in workouts right now. Coach Mike Caputo, safeties coach at Utah State, introducing Troy Leffridge Jr. from Fullerton Junior College. We see him as a free safety. He had 37 tackles and two interceptions at his time at Fullerton. We like him because he can come down and tackle. He's a hitter. His willingness to play special teams excites us and his range and ability to cover the post. This is Coach Sanford talking about Cooper Lega, quarterback signee from Orem High School, coached by Jeremy Hill, state champions in 17 and 18 in the state of Utah. Cooper's a quarterback that we love for his versatility, uh, his toughness, and the fact that he gives you everything you're looking for in the ground and the air. Threw for a career 9,770 yards passing, 122 touchdowns, and then rushing for 2,770 yards on the ground with 22 total touchdowns. Cooper's everything we're looking for in a champion, not only as a football player, but as a wrestler and as a javelin thrower. Hey guys, this is Coach Woods again. Sonny Moccasini from Tent View High School. Plays for Coach Andy Stokes, another proven winner in the state. Sonny will go on mission. Checks a lot of boxes for us, Polynesian player, in-state, physical, nasty, with great feet. Can't wait to get Sonny here. Frank Miley introducing Moses Manu, tight end. At a Bountiful High School, played for Larry Wall. After high school, played two years at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California for Bob Jastrap and decided to serve a two-year mission. He was called to serve in the beautiful island of Tonga. He's a long, explosive athlete, great blocking abilities for a tight end, moves very well, and has great ball skills. He is here now with us and already in the program, ready to roll, expecting a lot of great things out of Mosese. Hello, my name is Coach Bojay from Watu. I'll be talking about Shunin Moore from Weber High School. Head coach, Matt Hammer. Shunin will play linebacker for us. And why we like Shonen and why we love Shonen is that he's very athletic 
as a high motor, sideline to sideline player, very instinctive, and has a great get off when he's coming off the edge. We are excited to have Sean and be a part of the Aggie family. Hey, it's Coach Bojay Flamati. I have the pleasure to introduce Kaleo Nevis from Tempview High School, Provo, Utah. His head coach is Andy Stokes. Kaleo has a great get off when he's coming off the edge. He is very athletic, very physical, and very instinctive. I love how athletic he is in space, and he's going to be a great addition to the Aggie family. Frank Miley here, introducing Bronson Olevao, safety, Highland High School, Salt Lake City, Utah. His head football coach is Brody Benson. Bronson will serve a two-year mission before joining the Aggies, but we are very excited about getting him here. He's a very long, explosive athlete, has the ability to play several different positions on the football field, has a high football IQ, great ball skills, can cover, extremely excited about getting him here, plays with a great motor, Great kid, comes from a great family. This is Coach Woods, Jackson Owens from East High School. Played for Coach Brandon Maddich. Really fired up about Jackson. Physical, imposing, big bodied offensive lineman. Uh, we think can, can possibly play at tackle or guard because of his length. Plays at a great program here in the state, which is a big part of, of who we are and what we want to be up front. And we are excited to get Jackson in the program. Frank Myla here, introducing Dean Rice, defensive lineman. His head football coach is Brennan McFadden, played at River Valley High School at Yuba City, California. Dean is a big, explosive athlete with great length. Moves very well with great feet, very physical, has a very high ceiling of growth, and expect a lot of great things out of him. Dean Rice will be a very dominant player, excited about getting him here this summer. This is Coach Orfe, and we're gonna talk about Dominic Tatum from Culver City High School, played for Coach Jamal Wright. Dominic is a cornerback, a longer 6'3", 185. The thing we like about Dominic is his position versatility. He can play corner, no and safety. Also, another interesting fact, his dad played here. His dad was a pretty good player, and it was always good to, and a big thing to keep that thing in the family. Dom. Senior year, he had 94 tackles, two interceptions, and two fumble recoveries. Looking forward for him to come in and have a good year, and he's going to be a great addition for us. This is Coach Collins. Simon Thompson. Simon Thompson is an outside linebacker from West Salem High School in Oregon. His head coach was Sean Stanley, a good friend of mine. Me and Sean played college football together. Simon is a very, very intriguing athlete. Played quarterback, was an all-conference player of the year offensively in his conference. Big-time athlete that also plays some safety, and you'll see him roll down to one of our outside backers slash hybrid safety positions for us. Intriguing thing about Simon, he has the ninth fastest one tenth hurdle meter time in the state of Oregon. Tremendous student. We're extremely excited to get Simon here on campus. This is Coach Collins, Jesse James Vasquez. Gotta love that name, right? Long snapper from Oaks Christian High School. Played for Coach Collins out there at Oaks Christian. Uh, Jesse's another specialist that came out this summer. Had a chance to work out for us during our, our summer camp. Fell in love with the place. We fell in love with him. He can flick it back there. He's also an athlete that can do a great job of coverage. So we're excited to have Jesse James here, what he can bring to this program. And he's going to have a tremendous career here at Utah State. Coach Justin Enna here speaking about A.J. Vongpachan from Chiawana High School. His head football coach is Steve Graff, first team All-State in the state of Washington. Very explosive football player, very dynamic, 16 sacks his senior season, and also was the running back, carried the ball quite a bit, did a great job. A really fun player to watch and excited to have him join the team. This is Coach Collins. Jalen Warren is going to be joining us from Snow College. Coach Mitchell, Andrew Mitchell, who just got the new head job there, was the offensive line coach before, but previously this season, Jalen played for Paul Peterson. Played high school ball right here in the great state of Utah with Coach Brandon Maddich at East High School. And really excited about what Jalen will bring. He was the NJCAA Offensive Player of the Year at Snow Junior College. He's a back that's going to give us a complement of both speed and power. Certainly fits into the poly pipeline we have here and has a tremendous personality and will be a great step forward at a running back position. 
Coach Enna here, talking about Jamison Willingham from Stillicum High School, coached by Colby Davies, is uh, recruited here as an inside backer. Really good kid, uh, good GPA, comes from a great family, very instinctive player, strikes very well, runs to the ball well, also plays basketball, uh, multi-sport athlete, and uh, excited to have him join the team.